Happy Monday! Welcome to Insurance Agent Training. Every Monday, two o'clock Central Standard Time. That's a habit to look at my watch anytime I talk about time. You guys have any habits that you do without even thinking about it? Today we're going to talk about something that can kind of affect some of that, which is confidence. And how confidence, or a lack thereof, can keep you from closing sales. I'm sold that confidence is the number one thing that helps you be a better salesperson. Because if you're not sold on what you're selling, then the prospect won't be either. Think about it this way. One thing I think about, when I think about sales, is I think about, all right, so with sales, you've got the salesperson and you've got the prospect. And I feel like whoever is either, if you're more sold that they're gonna buy, then they are that they're not gonna buy, then you make a sell. If they're more sold that you're not going to sell them, then you are that you're gonna sell them, then they win and they don't end up buying. So I feel like it's this kind of this tug of war and I feel like confidence plays a huge role in closing sales, in closing business. All right, Google says the dictionary for says the definition for confidence is the feeling or belief that one can rely on someone or something firm trust. We had every confidence in the staff. Synonyms, trust, belief, faith, credence, conviction. How much conviction do you have in the company you work for, the product you're selling, the price for the product that you're selling, your sales ability, and in your ability to close the sale. I would say those are the five things that you gotta think about. How sold are you? You gotta be at a level 10 on all of them because you may say, well, I'm confident in my ability, but I'm not confident in the product I'm selling. Then the prospect's gonna feel that because the passion is not gonna pour through. You can say, okay, you can look at it another way. You could say, I'm sold on the product, but my sales ability is lacking. And if that's the case, I promise you, you may be sold in the product, the passion may come through, but if you aren't confident enough in your sales ability to close the sale, it will impact your ability to close. I say it all the time. Everyone has a gift. Everyone's great at something. Some people don't know what it is, but everyone's great at something. I've always felt like I'm great at getting people to make a decision. I'm confident in my ability to get people to buy. Like, in my book, I'm so confident, generally, most of the time if, I, if I'm sold on the company, the product, my ability, all those things, right? That if I'm sold on it, it's easier for me to close. It's easier for me to get yeses and nos when other people are accepting. I wanna think about it, I'm not sure, I need to retract, I'm not positive, I'm not going all in on it yet as we say around the office. At the end of the day, confidence is huge and it can affect your ability to make a sell. This is a great phrase I want to mention. Confidence is the state of feeling certain about the truth of something. How certain are you in your ability, in your product, in your company, in insurance that you are going to close? If you're not at a level 10, and you're not confident about who you represent, the product you're selling, your ability or your ability to close the sale, I promise you, it will affect sales. 100%. You will close less sales if you're less confident. You say, well, Cody, I'm used to you doing whiteboards and hey, here's how to make 300 grand and here's how to overcome objections, here's sales training and all this, all, here, here's live dials, all this stuff. I wanna address this today because if you are more confident, you wouldn't be struggling. If you were more confident, you wouldn't fail. If agents were more confident, then 92% of insurance agents would not fail. So one of the big reasons, one of the big things that gave me confidence is ways to gain confidence. If you don't have the confidence you want and you realize that you're not certain, but you know you need to be certain, then some ways for you to gain confidence, right, is you need to know your product inside and out that will give you product confidence, true or false. You need to know the company you represent, inside and out. If you don't know everything, 
It'll give you company confidence, true or false, right? You need to know and be certain that the price you're offering is good enough to get the job done, right? You also need to be confident in your sales ability. If you're not certain in your ability to get the job done, so ways to get more confidence, I would say learning, soaking up knowledge, repetition, role playing. You don't want to jump into an appointment and not be 100% ready and sold. You don't want to jump in and say stuff that, you, that you're like, crap, why did I say that? Right? Or, or not be confident in the process. Because you can be confident in the product, but if you're not confident in the process of what you're doing when you get in a home, you may be confident in the product. You may puke product. You may, you may end up so disconfident or unconfident in the process that you don't know what to do when to do it. And so you're like, crap, I don't know how to make this sale. So I'm just going to puke and vomit product knowledge on them right now. Who's been in that boat? Right? I'm not a puker, you know, I'm not a big talker, right? I don't just vomit all over people, so that's not my style. But there's a lot of people in the sales arena that, that are. They're pukers, man. Put it in comments below if you're if, if you are a puker or if you're like, dang dude, I don't want to be a puker, man. When you know, right? When you know what you're doing, when to do it, how to do it, where to do it, why to do it, what to do, at every step of the way. That's where, that's where training comes in. That's why professional athletes train multiple times a day. That's why collegiate athletes train multiple times a day. That's why Kobe Bryant would put up thousands of shots a day over the course of a summer. That's why Michael Jordan would still weight lift on game day because it gave him confidence. It instilled confidence. It made him ready so when that time came, he was at a 10 rather than running an appointment or playing a game at a 5, right? Because you have to be confident in your ability. You say, well, and, and I want you to evaluate yourself today. This is a therapy session brought to you by Cody. Today, what are you not confident in that we can help that confidence? Like, if you had to pick one thing right now that you are not 100% confident in, what is it? Put it in comments below. I want to know if there's one thing that you're not 100% sold on confidence-wise, then what is it? Because if it's product knowledge, right, that's fixable, then fix it. If it's, your, if it's, a, if it's process related, then let's learn. We have trainings like the call to close. We have YouTube videos about appointment process. We have our Insurance Wealth University. We have ways for you to get more confident. You say, well, okay, I think there's two, there's, there's three ways to get more confident in your ability to run an appointment or your ability to make a call, right? There's the learning stage. I'm going to soak up as much knowledge as I can, right? There's the role playing stage. I'm going to practice it, right? I'm going to practice the stuff I learned and I'm going to practice it until I'm freaking great at it. And then there's repetition. Because without learning it, that's, you're going to struggle, right? Because you're not going to really ever know. And if you don't know, it's going to be harder to role play. If you don't role play, you haven't ingrained it into your body. It's not, it's not habitual. It's not part of you. Okay? And then the third part of that is you could know it could be a role, you could role play it, but if you don't stay consistent with it, it's like a salesperson that has a great month and then takes 30 days off. They're going to be ice cold 30 days later, right? It's like a basketball player that is great during the season and they take four months off. They're going to dwindle and go downhill if you don't stay consistent. So these are ways that if you're not confident in your ability, because confidence will affect sales, right? It can affect your ability to close a sale 100%. So if you're not, if you're not closing sales, it's confidence in something or yourself, right? If that's true, for you, then how do we make it so that you're more confident in what you do, your ability, and how do we get you to a level 10 so that you know you're practicing it and you're consistent with knowing and practicing so that you're always, and the more you role play and the more you practice, the better at something you get. People aren't great at the telephone, right? The first time they pick it up, not even the hundredth or the thousandth. 
So a lot of times, not even the 10,000th time they pick it up. But after hundreds of thousands of calls over the course of your career, you get pretty good at using this thing as, as long as you're not doing the wrong stuff. That's where training comes in. You need to know how to use it, right? If you're using it the wrong way, you want to know, am I right? That's why we did a three hour live training with you called Call to Close. Three hours, because I want you to know how to use it properly, okay? So you know now, right? Then you've got to practice it and role play it. That's where, you, that's where our sales guys role play calls every morning together, right? It's a, it's, a, it's, not, it's a requirement, it's not optional. Like they're either committed or they don't work here. They're either confident or they're out of a job, right? I mean, it's just part of it. So you know from training, you practice it from role playing and then it's repetitive. You pick it up a hundred times a day and eventually you say, well, okay, let, let, let's do the math. You pick it up 100, 100 days. Let's say you pick it up 100 times a day, 100 days in a row, okay? That's 10,000 calls. 100 times a day for three years, you're north of 100,000 calls. And then you can be a master. Confidence is killing you. It's keeping you from closing sales, and I don't want that to be the case. That's why we've created 8% Nation, so that you can start to have confidence in your ability. You can start to learn. You can start to know. You can start to dive in, and I believe it, today is the last day to get VIP tickets for under 300 bucks. So make sure that you take advantage of that at apersonation.com. Any thoughts, comments, questions, compliments, praises, anything else going on over there, Dylan? What do you think, bro? Uh, Tracy Taylor says, hey. Hey, hey, Tracy. I like it. Thanks for chiming in. Thanks for the comment. Thanks for watching. Be sure that you share this. Be sure that you tag another insurance agent right now that needs to hear this. You know someone right now that their confidence is not at a level 10. And what you have right now is the ability to help someone. So be sure you do me a favor and you a favor and them a favor by tagging an insurance agent in the comments below so that they too can have some freaking killer confidence like you do. I want you to know, I want you to role play, and I want you to be repetitive and practice. At the end of the day, I want you to be at a certain state and I don't mean a certain state, I mean a state of certainty. I'm certain, and that's the state I'm in, all the time. Because I promise, it's contagious, it's, I mean, it's infectious. People will start to be more confident around you because that's the type of person you are, right? So be confident, start closing sales, and whatever it is that's holding you back, let's make sure that you figure it out so that we can fix it so that you start making more sales than you currently are today. That's why we do insurance agent training and confidence. Like without, without confidence, it don't matter what kind of training I give you, if you don't have the compliment, confidence to implement it, it does not matter, right? So start to know, start to learn. I've spent north of six figures on like personal development and knowing and learning like the last year, I would say the last 13, 14, 15 months. I've spent north of six figures getting around people that are phenomenal, that are super successful because it trains, it, it, it's got me to a much higher confident level than I am. And if you think you're like the greatest in the world, then you're hanging out with the wrong crowd because I can promise you, you ain't, right? I'm definitely not either. So hey, thanks for watching Interstate Training. I love helping you. I want to see you more confident. I want to see you making sales and I want to see you making some money this year. I appreciate you watching. We'll see you tomorrow for live Q&A. Actually, that's Wednesday. Phone Phenom tomorrow. I didn't forget about you guys. Phone Phenom tomorrow at five. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day. Appreciate you guys.